a very good 49ers team that was in the NFC Championship game last year make the transition to a, this inexperienced yeah. quarterback. What are you hearing? Well, I'm hearing he's had a really good week of practice, that he's coming along and progressing like the 49ers would like. Started a little slow in training camp, but he didn't have Debo Samuel. He's going against a really good first-team 49ers defense, so it's been a transition. But they like what he's doing, especially with the run and pass stuff. He's a true dual-threat quarterback, so they plan to utilize that in a big way. And I talked to his quarterback coach, his private coach, Adam Dado. Out in L.A., he said that the guy the last couple weeks, the way he was training leading up to 49ers camp, was really impressive that this guy is ready for that jump. Interesting. Canty, what, do you what are you watching on this situation? I'm excited to see Kyle Shanahan's play design and his evolution as a play caller with a guy like Trey Lance because of the yeah. movement skills. Trey Lance can be a focal point in the running game, and if you look back to the Shanahan offenses, even going back to Mike Shanahan in Denver, when he had John Elway, when he had Jake Plummer, when he had Jake Cutler, and then most recently when Kyle and Mike were in Washington with RG3, all of those were top five offenses. And so when you look at what the 49ers are bringing to the party with their offensive line, and their skill positions and then parachute and Trey Lance in the middle of it, this is going to be an absolutely potent offense and it's going to be something that the rest of the NFL is going to have to contend with. I'm excited to see it. Yeah, Tim, that's kind of how I feel. Like, this is Kyle Shanahan sort of betting on himself and his ability yeah. to coach something great out of this young man, especially with the roster he's built around him. Am I on the right track? I think you're exactly right that that's what Kyle Shanahan is doing. And in fairness to Kyle Shanahan, um, he has probably been better than any play caller in the National Football League at, at scripting completions. You know, he's had to play a number of different quarterbacks in his time in San Francisco, and he's done an excellent job with that. Uh, look, I don't think that anybody would dispute the ability that Trey Lance has. I mean, it just – in terms of physical talent, like if you're going to go put a, a – you know, a QB competition on, you know, a QB challenge on, like, like he, he would thrive in that environment. The, the thing about it is this, though, uh, that I think everyone just has to be realistic about. And I think if, if we don't see growing pains, then Kyle Shanahan's brilliant. We're talking about a player that has started one year of college football, one full season. Then he played one game the next season. Then he played three games as a pro last year. He has played very little football at the quarterback position since leaving high school. And the football that he did play was at a lower level of competition. And so I think if we think he's going to roll right in and play at the highest level at a high level, I think those expectations are too high for a young player with very little experience. What do you got your eye on Niners Packers tonight? Yeah, I'm going to go to the other side of the ball. This has been a, one of the great rivalries in football, 49ers and Packers. Mm -hmm. And Jordan Love has a great opportunity. And this all started a couple of years ago. The Packers traded up for Jordan Love to replace Aaron Rodgers. We all know what happened there. But at some point, Aaron Rodgers is going to retire. And can Jordan Love be the guy? And Look, the quarterback is a developmental position. Sometimes it works out. Certainly, we can have Tim talk about that. But sometimes it does work out. Wow. And after a couple of years, Jordan Love may be – take the next step and we certainly hope from a Packer perspective he does so I think as much as we're intrigued by Trey Lance I'm just as intrigued by Jordan Love's development.